Hello, welcome to O2 Inside Line. I'm delighted to be joined by Jack Knoll. Good to see you. Looking well. You had a bit of a tidy up at the back there. Does that just look smart, play smart? Yeah, the last two weeks. Uh, first time I've been home in a while, so I had a little bit of a haircut. Um, got to fit them in when you can. So looking ahead, obviously, to, to round four, um, I suppose just putting it in context, good win over Ireland, but a lot of possession, a lot of territory. What have been the sort of the work-ons this week? We've been working very hard on our breakdown and we knew that from the first game in Scotland, so it's something that, that we need to keep going with. Um, you know, keeping the balls big for us, we want to get into our phases. Um, so, you know, they're big things that we've been working on with the forwards and, and with the backs as well. So, you know, we get those things ticked off, um, we should be firing. And where do you feel England are at the moment in terms of, obviously, from the start of the campaign, building towards the end? You know, where do you feel you are on that journey at the moment? I think, I think obviously, we've still got a long way to go, but, um, you know, we knew we weren't going to fall straight into it straight away with a new coach, new players and think new systems, stuff like that. Um, you know, the most positive thing is that we're always building as a squad from the first game, we, we've showed potential. Well, we've done the glory in Jack Noel, we've now got the power in Joe Marlow. Uh, how much hard work did you get up to down in Bath? There looked to be a lot of mud. Is that the kind of environment that the forwards enjoy rolling up on their sleeves and going to work in? It was a good grafting week. Um, got plenty of scrums done. Um, plenty of line outs and some, some malls. And it was just a, a nice week, different week, getting out of Penny Hill, getting down to Bath. Joe, there have been some very good headlines for England's pack throughout the course of this year's RBS Six Nations. Can you shed a little bit of insight on where the progress has been made at scrum and line-out time? Yeah, I think, I think we've gone pretty well over the last three games. Scrum's improved compared to where it was in the, in the summer, which is, which is always a good thing. Being Are you doing mower. any differently in that regard? We're being worked extremely hard, um, and there's been a huge emphasis on scrum and line-out and the work that we do as a pack. 